Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's look is my first holiday makeup tutorial of the season. Starting to get a little bit festive now that December is here, but I feel like I created a pretty classic look. It's a little bit more on the bold side, but a classic look that will go with anything. So like your blacks, gold, silvers, red, I created the look with red in mind, but it will go with anything for like your holiday parties, Christmas, New Year's. Let's not even talk about New Year's yet. That's just, no, mm -mm, not ready. If you guys want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos here every week, every Friday, so I don't want you to miss any. So go ahead, click that subscribe button. Did you do it? Okay, now we can get started with the look. All right, I'm gonna start off with the Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Moisturizer. And I've only been using this for a few weeks, so I don't have like a full review just yet, but I do notice that it makes my skin feel really smooth and it just makes a nice base before I apply my makeup. It feels so nice talking to you guys because I feel like it's been a while since I've done a talk through video. The last one was, like my last video was a get ready with me in Disneyland, so I got ready in a hotel room and for obvious reasons, I filmed voiceovers afterwards. But yeah, while this soaks in, I do want to mention to you guys that I collabed with Vanity Planet to bring you this video because they sent me, hold on, this is so cute. They sent me a brush roll and I did want to show it to you before I actually started using them because they won't look so pretty afterwards with all the makeup on them. Here's the brush roll. It has, let me see. Two, four, six, eight, fifteen brushes in here. They're all vegan, so all synthetic hair. No animals were hurt in the making of these brushes. But yeah, I just thought it was a good time to share this with you because holidays are coming up. This is a holiday makeup tutorial, and in case you guys are planning like your gift giving lists already, truthfully, I'm not there yet. I normally start shopping like Ooh, December 20th, I'm not even lying right now, I'm terrible, but Vanity Planet is offering me a discount code to you guys. This brush roll normally sells for $100, but they've offered me 70% off to share with you, so that makes this whole brush roll $30, and that's pretty dang good, because makeup brushes can get pretty pricey. This is a pretty good little starter set. You have some of your face brushes, some shadow, uh, a little bit of lip and detailing over here. You get this cute little lip bullet. And I will be trying them out throughout the entire tutorial today, so I'm kind of doing like a first impression of them. But yeah, check out the coupon code in my description box for all the details. Um, and let's get started. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and start by, oh, that applies so smooth. And I often get asked what my favorite makeup brushes are or what my favorite line to use is. And truthfully, I use brushes, like all types of brushes, cheap, expensive, from all types of lines. It really all depends on how the brush works. For my shadow base, I'm gonna use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to get rid of this creasing that you see is happening. And it's just a good way to make your shadows last longer. Normally, I would set that shadow base right away but I want to get my brows on first, so I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This is an ultra fine tip pencil, and I really like how detailed I can make my brows, so you can really make it look like you're drawing on your natural hairs. I'm going to go in and set my shadow base now, and I am going to be using the Master Palette by Mario. And because this is the holidays, I kind of want to use like the reds or the burgundies. So I just did some swatches, these two on my hand. My, my voice is so raspy right now. <clears throat> and I think this more cranberry shade would be a little bit more appropriate for today's look. Take a little bit, because these shadows are super pigmented and just press that. Oh, look at that. It applies so smooth. Um, and apply that to the lid. This brush is so, like it applies so precise. So I'm gonna use the um, crease brush, blending brush right here to just blend out that edge that you're seeing. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Lula with the same crease brush and just try and like diffuse the colors a little bit, warm it up, and I'm just placing this in the crease. Not too much because you don't want this color to show, you just are putting it there to make everything a little bit smoother. 
Now I wasn't really sure if I was going to apply liner, but I feel like I haven't done it in a long time and I kind of miss a wing liner. So I'm going to use the MAC Boot Black Liquid Liner and just give myself a little bit of a wing. I don't want to give myself like a crazy big wing all at once because I don't really know where the eyes are going yet. And for this look, I'm going to be using the SO Miss Glam Naturally Glam Lashes. I'm going to use this brush. It's a little bit more precise for the crease. The other one I was using was a little bit more fluffy for blending it out. So I'm going to take a little bit of the other color that I didn't use earlier, which is NYC, starting from the outer edge here and just placing it in the hollows just to kind of deepen this up. Dang, that's pretty good if you wanted to do a cut crease. So I'm just going to take the other fluffy brush and blend that out because I don't want that line to be too harsh. Now for concealer, I'm using the concealer brush. And I wish I had a new concealer that I'm loving right now that was different from what I usually use, but I don't. So I'm using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX9. And I'm just going to apply this right underneath the eyes. The set that I'm going to use the... Whoa! I'm always so afraid of opening this because I know I'm one day going to spill it. I'm using the Laura Mercier uh, Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. Just going to tap off some of the excess and then apply it underneath the eyes. Now I'm going to take this brush right here. It's a smudger. And I'm going to take this, which is Muse, to just run it along the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of NYC and run that over top, especially around the outer edges. And then I'm using this black eyeliner from Marcel. I really like this one. It's called the Kajal Cool Eyeliner. So now I'm just gonna go in and finish off my liner because right now it just kind of stopped abruptly right there. And I want it to have a wing. I'm just gonna slightly flick it out. And I'm gonna try out this bronzer from CoverGirl. It's the True Blend Bronzer in Ooh, the actual name is rubbed off, but the number is 200. Oh, it has a little bit of shimmer to it, like a glow. That's pretty. I just want to add a little flush of color, like a little bit of warmth right here. So I'm going to use this blush from Illamasqua. It's called Bag. FYI, you only need a little touch because they are so pigmented. So I'm going to use this fan brush because I just want like a light application. Give you that real fake smile. Now for lips, I'm still deciding, oh, I'm still deciding what I want to do with them, but I'm going to line them with my fave lip liner, which is this little nub that I am attempting to sharpen, but you guys already know. I told myself I was going to try and use different products, but this is my favorite lip liner. It's the Kevin Aquan Medium Lip Pencil. I just can't live without it. And something unbelievable happened. Okay, so this pencil, I want to say is normally $34, $35. I bought mine for $6 from Sephora online. They didn't have them in store. I don't know if it's still, I don't know if they're still on sale or not. I'll check for you and if they are, I'll leave the link in the description box for you guys. But oh my God, I bought uh, four of them and that's $24 and normally they're, I want to say $34. I'm actually kind of regretting not buying more right now. So you could either go really bold and do like a ready burgundy lip or you could go nude. I kind of want to take it there. I want to go dark so I'm going to try this uh, lipstick from Makeup Forever. It's one of their Artist Rouge mattes. I'm going to use the lip brush because with this it's so dark and it's so matte that if I don't it'll be a mess. And that's it. I hope you guys liked how the makeup turned out. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like the makeup. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And you guys can also check out my vlog channel. It's called Life with Trina. And that's all. Welcome to December. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.